I said, look mother, no hands. And no darling, I do not dance. I'm currently on my way to Dynamic Tint in Tempe, Arizona. That's where I got both my Model Y and my M2 uh, wrapped with paint protection film and also tinted. There is a powder blue Porsche Taycan down there that I really wanna see. Uh, so we're gonna go see Tyler. This thing looks amazing. If you're not familiar, the Porsche Taycan is Porsche's flagship EV right now. So I'm gonna go check it out. Check this out. This is the rolling real estate agent. This person looks like they are handicapped and they are a real estate agent. So if you're out there saying, oh, I can't do it, I can't work, think of the rolling real estate agent. That person is handicapped and they're out there doing it. I love that. There's a little plug for the rolling real estate agent. What in the hell is going on in Mesa? Jeez, I'm staying out. But yeah, anytime you just get even slightly down on yourself, I want the rolling real estate agent to roll right into your head and toughen you up. Oh, I can't do this. Oh, it works hard. Rolling real estate agent, they're out there doing it. Think of how hard life is for them. All right, so as I said earlier, we're here with Tyler at Dynamic Tent. <laughs> this Porsche Taycan is unbelievable. I called it powder blue. I don't actually know what type of blue this is. I'm gonna have Tyler walk you guys through exactly what he's done to this thing. And as you can see, you Tesla fans, this is now an EV garage. We got another Model Y back there. So Tyler, I'll let you go ahead and what you put on this car, on this beautiful Porsche Taycan. Yeah, so very similar to a lot of vehicles and like what the Teslas get, we protect the main front end that right. you get the rock chips from. But we upgraded to a new film that's a little bit thicker, which is our 10 mil. So we covered the headlights, we covered the bumper, um, the hood, the fenders, and the mirror caps. And then we did the window tint on it as well with our XR Plus window tint. And what are the levels of the window tint? So XR Plus, is that the that's top, the top line? Of the line? Okay. So that's our 98% infrared heat reduction ceramic. Okay. Then we have one just below that, which is our XR. Right. And that's 88%. Okay. And then our standard tint, which is 30% for our CS. Got it. And what do most customers, so we're in Phoenix, if you don't know, Phoenix being an extreme environment for heat, what do most customers go with out here? So most popular is the XR. Okay. Great price point. Yep. Great heat reduction. Um, if you keep your car for more than five years or plan on keeping it a little longer, that's when they go for the XR Plus. Got it. Truthfully, okay. and biggest difference too, especially when we do a lot of electric vehicles, Right. you're cutting down on how much that battery has to work. Yes. Yeah, with running the air conditioning and all that type of stuff. Yep. Just beautiful work here. And if you stick around for the video next week, I'll be taking my M2 to the racetrack. Is it called Indy Racetrack? Indy Motorsports. Indy Motorsports Ranch. Yep. Yes. So Tyler and I are going out there. It's going to be really fun. I've been to racetracks before, but never took my own car. So that's going to be a really fun video that we do. Get to see the ranch and get to take the M2 out where it belongs on the track and not just going to pick up groceries. So, but yeah, this Porsche Taycan is unbelievable. Quick look at the interior. And the interesting about this car is it a two-speed transmission. So Teslas are just one speed. If anyone in the Valley has a Porsche Taycan, you'd be willing to let me drive and review, please contact me. Email's at the bottom of the screen. I would love to review this thing. This is my favorite EV, to be totally honest with you. It has the quality control of Porsche. Everything about this is driver focused. So it has like the way this cockpit is set up and the way the seating position is, everything about this is based on motorsport. And that's what Porsche is all about. So that's why this is my favorite EV. And this being the Taycan 4S, but as you can see by those stills, it's just an incredible car in person.
good seeing Tyler and seeing what he has in the shop. There was a guy I was talking to there. He, he brought his Mercedes S-Class in to have a window tinted. He started to say, hey, what do you drive? And I'm like, oh, that's my Tesla Model Y. And he's like, Tesla, is that the... He didn't know the difference between the Y and the X. So I was talking to him about it. And I was like, come over, let's take a look at it. And we take a look. And I go, go ahead, sit in it. He goes, what's the screen? I would bet you that he owns a Tesla within one year. He just bought a Bentley. I bet I, he's, he sits and he's like, this is better than the Bentley. I'm like, yep. I mean, it, it's just so funny. And if he were to drive it, I mean, he would have gone straight to, I would have had to take him to Tesla. It's just funny. The second you drive these things, they sell themselves. That's why you never see a Tesla commercial. Also, I was talking to my friend the other day, does, has Tesla ever made a commercial? I don't think they have. I think they rely on word of mouth and everything like that. Be interested to know. So yeah, we're back on the road, Model Y. Never gets old. I should go into chill mode. I need to, I need to relax, you know, it's, I need to relax. It's been a little too much. Um, there's also a slow leak in that back right tire. If you've been following the playlist of my Tesla Model Y videos, you know that I blew that tire out and I, Tesla put a new tire on there for $350. I'm not sure why, what the deal is with, with that tire. I don't know if they put it on incorrectly or if there's a slow leak. So I guess we'll find out over the next few days, but lots of exciting content coming. Also, since I've gone full-time YouTube, a lot of you have reached out and just said like, really appreciate your videos, good luck to you. Like I've had nothing but positivity come my way um, while I took this leap. Very thankful for the support from not only my friends, but you know, you guys on the internet who support me and watch my videos and have gotten me to a point where it was worth it to take a leap and do this full time and try to make something out of it. So I sincerely appreciate your support in that. My parents, my parents are like, so uh, so you're just gonna do these videos then? He's like, you, you can't do those videos. You gotta get a job. Get a job, terrible people. You gotta get a job. You got the stimulus, got the people. I do really appreciate it. It helps a lot. Very, it's a weird thing to do because my emotions are extremely high and extremely low. Like I will just, there'll be certain days I'm, I'm doing a video and then you just see like some garbage comment come through and it just like kind of throws you down. But at the end of the day, I'm the one out here taking a risk and someone is just typing on a keyboard. I've been doing YouTube for 10 years, so comments don't really bother me that much. It's more if like a video fails or in my eyes fails if it doesn't do very well with views. It can really be like, man, maybe I should just go get it. You like want to go back to the safety of working for a company and getting a consistent paycheck. Now I get paid once a month with YouTube. And in my previous job, I got a paycheck once a month, but I, have, I had a whole bunch of revenue streams. I had my uh, automotive reimbursement, my mileage reimbursement, my YouTube revenue, sponsorship revenue. I had all these different streams. And I just felt that it was gonna be better if I put all my energy into something I was passionate about as opposed to doing something that, yeah, I mean, it, like technically it was it was making 95 grand a year. I would, I think that's a lot of money, but it's not a lot of money when you're working seven days a week, you're always on call and you can't do anything with friends. I was told one year I can't go home for Christmas to see family and to me that's not worth it. There's nothing, there's no amount of money that I'm not gonna be bought and sold by a company uh, telling me what I can and can't do. I, I just don't think I'm cut out for that. And luckily I have YouTube to come to and, and see where we can take it. So long story short, I appreciate your kindness in the comments, the support in the videos. All I ask you guys to do is like the video and watch them all the way through. Um, I'm trying to make them more, I'm trying to not do less of what I'm doing right now is just talking and ranting, which I know it can be funny at times, but I also don't want to make it uh, boring for everyone. I'm working on it. I'm learning a lot. I've already learned a ton in the years I've been doing YouTube, but now I have the time to execute on everything I've learned. So that's about it. That's my rant for today. Uh, I hope you enjoyed the video. I know I sure did. I love seeing that Tycon. That thing is amazing. And, uh, and that guy, Mr. Motorcycle. Yeah, so it, it just, uh, it's an interesting journey. It's been a great journey so far. I appreciate your support. The last two videos have done amazing, almost at 100,000 views, 2020 versus 2021. Basically, just check out my Model Y uh, playlist on my channel and then subscribe to the channel if you want to so you can be updated on when I post new videos. Very excited. Everything is going well so far. To those of you who I've, Andrew and Gary, who I've met up with, review your cars. I really appreciate that. 
that helps me so much being able to have access to the new Teslas that are coming out. But I'm not just a Tesla channel. I know a lot of the people are like, oh, this Tesla guy, like I just, I love cars in general. Teslas happen to drive very well, which is what attracted me to them. So yeah, it's electric, all that stuff, but the car is a good car in terms of its driving dynamics. And that's what brought me to Tesla. Again, if anyone has a Porsche Taycan in the Valley or anywhere in the Southwest of the United States, please let me know. I'd like to come drive that thing and experience it. Very excited to experience that and other EVs that are coming out. And then the good old ICE engines. I have an M2 as well, so that's, uh, I'll make a video comparing the M2 to the Model Y and I think it'll surprise you. So again, thank you for watching. If you're still with me, please like the video and we'll see you next time.